Hello and welcome to the program. I am Deji Badimasi and thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, the Edo State Governorship election has come and gone and of course there is now a winner and there's a loser. The APC of course winning uh, the governorship election and guess what? The margin of victory very, very slim. At least slimmer than uh, you know what we had the outcome we had in 2012 when the APC had a landslide back then Oshomala actually had a landslide but this time the margin of victory very slim as a matter of fact it was a tough battle even though the APC was able to win 13 out of the 18 local government areas and the PDP getting 15 well to be candid um, well, if you were to look at the results now based on the number of local governments uh, won now by the APC compared to the number won by the PDP, you would assume that it was a landslide victory for the APC. But the fact is that you need to look at the numbers to really understand how close this election was and how uh, close the PDP came to taking that state. So let me just run you through uh, the figures now. and. Um, after running you through the figures, I'll bring in uh, an analyst now and together we'll be analyzing the results. First of all, um, there you have uh, the, the, the results. Uh, this, the first set of results, of course, Edo State, 18 local government areas, three senatorial districts. So the election was actually fought along these local government areas and the senatorial districts. Let's not talk about uh, the wards now. And there you have them. One local government area that I want to draw your attention to that is quite important. Uh, well, uh, let me take you to that local government area now, Oriyawa. Oriyawa is actually uh, where the candidate of uh, the PDP comes from. I'm talking about uh, Andrew Ize Iyamu now. And um, it, it's no surprise at all that he won his local government area. Um, there you can see Orion or the PDP getting 16,446 votes compared to the APC's 15,262 uh, votes. Now, something you must understand here, the APC actually gave the PDP a serious battle in that local government area because uh, a lot of people had expected that, well, that uh, the PDP, were, it was just going to be a clean sweep for the PDP, but it wasn't a clean sweep because um, the difference was just, um, uh, just um, there you have uh, the, the difference. Now, if you do the calculation, um, probably less than a thousand so not 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 something much and then another local government of interest before the election was a red local government area why because it had the highest number of registered voters still has the highest number of registered voters you can see registered voters in that local government area 273 and the number of accredited voters 74,076 but unfortunately of course um, not all of them actually came out. The total uh, vote cast in that local government, I must say that the result quite impressive in terms of, uh, you know, the turnout when you look at the number of accredited voters. But fact is that with 273,614,000 voters, then not even up to half that number actually came out for accreditation on that day. And uh, of course, uh, the number dropped to 69,401 that actually voted. And of course, you look at that number. That local government area, very critical. It was uh, like a battleground local government area, if you like, because the candidates actually knew that any of them who was able to win and win big in that local government area stood the chance. But what happened? As a matter of fact, what happened was that the candidates simply split the local government area. Uh, APC, of course, um, well, should I say narrowly winning, winning it now by 37,612 votes. The PDP's uh, 30,494 votes. So, you know, these are some of, one of the reasons why the APC actually won this election. But then this clearly gives you an idea of how... Uh, close this election was and how tightly uh, the candidates actually fought. Uh, you have the results from the other local government areas, uh, ESA, of course, um, the whole of Eastern land, as a matter of fact, the PDP won, but quite surprisingly, 
the APC made a good show, and a good example is this. Essence Central, for instance, the PDP getting 10,180 votes there, and the APC getting 9,781 votes. Now, not many people actually believed that the APC was going to do well here, because first, um, well, Essa is where uh, the big man for, uh, of the PDP comes from. I'm talking about uh, Tony and Nenny. And uh, before the election, the general impression we had was that there was some kind of discontent against the APC in Eastern Land. So, not surprising. I mean, you look at Essa Central, the APC lost there, but then the, the margin of loss not really wide. Then in Essaco, well, Everybody expected that the APC was going to do well there. As a matter of fact, a lot of people thought it was going to be a landslide for the APC in Esaco. But then again, you still have the PDP doing well. We're still going to talk about that. But there you have the results. And um, now, looking at the senatorial district, remember I told you 18 local government areas. Then you break down these local government areas. The candidates were also looking at the senatorial districts as well. Three senatorial districts in Edo State, Edo Central. Edo Central, very key, Essa land, and there you can see the APC, of course, um, in Essa Central, for instance, the APC, we've talked about that. In Essa Northeast, uh, the APC getting 9,130, 9, the PDP uh, getting 16,000. You just look at the whole of um, the, the results from Essa land as a whole, the PDP winning it, but then not by a very wide margin. Perhaps if the PDP had won Essa land by a very wide margin, the outcome of the election might have been something completely different and uh, let's go to uh, Edo North now. Edo North local government, uh, Edo North senatorial district as you say is where Governor Adams Oshomale comes from and a lot of people had expected that it was going to be a clean sweep for uh, Adams or for, for the APC because that is where the governor comes from and to be candid the governor has actually done a lot of roads in that senatorial district but then you look at uh, the margin. Well we could say fairly well that the APC actually you know, on the basis of balance now, that the APC did well in uh, a donut compared to how well the, 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 the PDP did in a, 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 a do Central. A do Central was more or less like um, a lot of people expected the PDP was going to do well there, but then the margin of victory for the PDP very slim. But then you come to a do not um, that you could actually call an APC area. You look at it, the APC, of course, doing well. Look at, for instance, Akoko Edo, 24,000 to the APC, and uh, just 13,000 going to, um, going to uh, the, the PDP. And then you look at Esako East, 18,000 to 12,000 for the PDP. Uh, Esako Central, 10,000. So you look at the difference. We're having a difference of more than, in this case, for instance, you have a difference of almost 10,000. In this case, you have a difference of, okay, in the case of Esaco West, uh, sorry, Esaco Central now, the difference of just around 2,000. But then look at Esaco West. Look at the difference. 29,000 to 10,000 plus for the PDP. And the difference, 18,000. Uh, 356. We're going to talk about this. Um, we're going to talk about these figures in details now. But let me just run you through. In Edo Central, um, altogether, the APC. I mean, Edo South. Now, the APC was able to pull 153,000. Edo South is where you have that local government area with the highest number of registered voters in Edo State. So. In Edo Central, the APC was able to pull 153,812 uh, votes and the PDP uh, getting 114,356 uh, votes. And now you look at the difference now, 33,014 votes. Now you're beginning to get an idea of why the APC won this election and how it was able to win. Now this is just like a breakdown of uh, the, 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 the statistics you have in Edo State in terms of voters, uh, registered voters, 1.9 1, 1 million, uh, accredited voters on that, on the day of the election, 622,039. Eventually the total number of votes cast, 613,000. Now why 613,000? Because some people will come do the accreditation but when it's time for voting, they wouldn't come back to vote. So the total number of votes cast um, 
613,244. And then look at the valid vote. Uh, of course, we all know what happened. The valid vote cast 582,299. And the voided votes, 30,000. 942. We're still going to be talking about these voided votes and what implication it might have had if the result was probably uh, closer than uh, they eventually turned out. So um, we're going to take a short break here. And uh, when we come back, I'll be talking uh, to uh, an analyst now and together we'll be analyzing these results and much more. Stay with us. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, would you, come, would you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. 